All right, we are live. Let's do this. I'm just gonna invite my beautiful invitee. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Look at us. Look at us. Alive, alive from the together. first try. <laughs> <laughs> this is more than oh, the first. Thank the you, my ever. God. Oh, oh yeah. Perfect. I'm so happy we did a test before. Uh, me right. too. Okay, so I'm at Can you hear me well? And you are playing on the bottom. And yes, I hear you well. Wonderful. What about Super. you? Do you hear me well? Yes, I hear you I perfectly. Like I can see you. <laughs> so good i feel like i'm talking in a tube you know because i like i hear myself speak and it's weird <laughs> oh i can hear you perfectly there's no echo and the sound is perfect it's perfect girl i'm so happy we're here today so we're finally getting to have a perfect beautiful life um with you my beautiful mikuna so just to put people into the context and for the later on the um how you call that the registration and how we're going to make the life, make it like a video for other people to see it later. Um, our goal with this beautiful life we'll be doing every Wednesday is basically to talk about, you know, diverse subject that really calls us out, especially, especially about spirituality, about the well-being, about, you know, how to be connected with ourselves and how to find solutions uh, to be just heart, heartwarming and also be well with our body and then, how to spread love as a community as well. So like I'm giving a lot of things here, but I'm sure that as we're going in and we'll be talking and we're connecting, um, we'll do it with improvisation. We'll talk with energy that we have right now. And our sole intention is truly to just be sharing the love, sharing our experience and doing it with attention and care and hopefully give you as well hope if you had a bad day or a bad moment in your life for now, um, I think that's what's the most important that we should do as people, right? To come in together, to be stronger together, and to share the best vibration we can. So that's me sharing what we're going to talk about. So I invite you, Miruna, to present yourself. And if you want to add up anything else, please do so. <laughs> oh, I love the intro. Well, I mean, humbly, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a spiritual woman that is passionate about her community and giving back. Um, I find it so pertinent that we have these conversations that we've been trying to launch for, for a while. And, and I'm so proud of us to, uh, to have managed to uh, synchronize and to take this moment. Because just to go back to uh, how it started, we had an organic conversation together you and I, and we discovered how important it is to share about the deeper subjects, subjects that are very dear to our hearts and that go beneath the surface, let's say, of the, of the humans. So we wanted to actually have these conversations live together and have the community join us and share the messages that we're certain that resonate with other people because as, as much as you and I, we, we have these conversations every day uh, with many, many people in our communities, but we we would love to kind of bring it forward and and also break some some um, stereotypes or uh, uh, let's say name some some subjects that are not so easily talked about when they're actually very very important. So that's what I would wow. add to that. Not that Girl. you need to, me to add anything to, to your <laughs> intro, but... Uh... No, I love it, Joe. Like, <clears> the more we're going to be doing that, the more we'll be comfortable, the more we're going to put ourselves there, you know, because at the end of the day, our intention is clear, is to share love, to share knowledge, and share connections. So, like, I'm sure it's going to get better and better and better. So, like, I'm so happy and proud of ourselves. Like you said, we tried multiple times, and there was always something coming up. You're moving. I was like shopping. <laughs> and, we were, like, and then I got we were, sick. And then I'm still, sick. but I'm like, uh, whatever, you know. <laughs> yes, I know. Let's freaking do it. <laughs> like, let's know? do it. Oh, yeah. Geez. Like, we were called to be doing that. So, um, before starting, we'll be talking about them. Um, she'll present her subject of the day that's calling us out right now. But before doing so, I wanted to do a little um, 
meditation and prayer to just like set the intention for our beautiful call today. Uh, ideally, we'll try to do that in 30 minutes and less. So if you are not, I invite you to close the eyes. Dear Universe, God, the Lord of the Universe, may you help us today to be guided. May you help us set the intention of sharing the message of love and connection. May you speak through our heart. May we connect with no pretenses. And may we help at least one person during this call to find hope and exaltation and happiness and joy. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so much for the protection you're giving us. And thank you so much for the light that you're having in front of us. Amen. Amen. Oh, my heart is smiling. That was a deep oh. prayer. I love it. It's like smiling and excited for me. <laughs> yes. Power of prayer. Right. Oof. Yeah. So I'm going to give you, um, I don't know how to say parole in English, but I'll give you the torch so you can speak up and, and say what's been coming up for you. <laughs> I took it. <laughs> Power of prayer. Um, what's been coming up for me and many, particularly women that I've spoken with in the, in the community here in Quebec in the past weeks, has actually been the power of taking the time in silence, the power of prayer, the power of affirmation, the power of deep listening, and remembrance of a, of a power higher than ourselves. Um, you know, I had a call Monday with a, it was a business call. It was actually with a, with a elderly man that cool. is in business for 40 years now. And we spoke business and networking and projects. And somehow we got to speak about God. Just like that. I named, I said the word, you know, like, let's talk about God. We should to sing that song let's talk about God I just named it you know I named it and then I said is that energy is that higher uh, vibration is that just a higher force whatever you call it and we were talking that in Quebec we have this um, shyness this also um, I wouldn't I don't know if it's fearfulness or just um it's it's a shyness of not not talking. That the moment that we say God, the moment when we say spirituality, it goes straight to religion. It goes straight to like whatever boxes that the mental places uh, around these things. And he said it's so refreshing. Uh, he found it amazing. We have another, we booked another call just to talk about like to continue to talk about this um, because he said his his. Um, a brother is a priest and that they're they're getting closer and closer to actually touch upon the core energy of it because what no matter how you call it it's pertinent and it's so imperative that we we call upon we call it upon us or we connect to it within us in these moments in these historical times in quebec in the states in Cambodia, in whatever, planet Earth, because it's more than obvious that we need a higher power. We always needed it, but in these moments, it's, it's very crucial. And, and we can get stumbled into concepts or stay in, into judgments or into frameworks that are just pure mental, that just don't even begin to kind of um, touch upon this essence that we need, that this energy. So long story in a nutshell, because <laughs> of course I'm a... <laughs> it, to come back in a nutshell, a deep need of rest, a res uh, ressourcement, just really touch with this energy inside. Uh, recognition of a higher source 
whatever you call it, you don't need to call it, feeling it, praying with it, to it, communicating with it, breathing in it, resting in it, and uh, listening to it because it gives us faith and hope, the, the, the voice of love, the voice of hope, the, vo the voice of faith. Listen to that voice. It's so important to listen to that voice when there's so much noise of voice of fear inside and out. It's polluting. It's too much. It's, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't serve nor us nor the society. So, so this is what has been, I have captured into my communication and conversations. I love it so much, Mirana. Um, it's perfect. I want to put the finger on the fear of voice, uh, the fear, the voice of fear. <laughs> it's truly powerful, and I feel like it can be expanded in such a broader aspect. You know, like like you, you, the voice of fear about the broader of what's happening in the world, the voice of fear of what's happening inside of you, the voice of fear of what do people think about us, right? So there's like so many different. Um, aspects and layers of fears right and levels so I mm. love what you said about how it's important to take the time to listen right to your heart listen to yourself and tell me if I'm wrong but is it, would you say it's a form of self-care right to really taking the time to sit down to let yourself connect you were saying to take um, acknowledgement to what you're feeling um, to release them. So like those, those are all the things that we, I often talk in personal development and you too as well. Like I feel like it's connected as you work in personal development in a nutshell, <laughs> you get naturally towards spirituality because you evaluate, you, if you're gradually evaluating and, you know, becoming stronger, learning about yourself, the power of love, humanity. Um, so I feel like the more I get into it, the more I see their interlock. I don't know if you agree with me for sure. Yeah. Um, so I love the aspect of the self-care, right? Because I feel like the more we feel despair and a lot of fear coming up and a lot of emotions and tension coming up, the more we have this need, like you say, to do the self-care, to look towards this bigger power than us, to, to give it to the ultimate power, the, the bigger power than us. Because I believe, and I love what you said, because... I believe we, we as a human, one individual, we cannot take it at all. You know, like we just can't do it all. And we can't possibly have all the weight of your own problematics, your own limitations, your own fears. Plus on top of it, take from your closest relatives, you take it unconsciously on your shoulders. Plus on the top of it, your ultimate society. Plus on top of it, the world as it is. Like it's just too much. So it has to go somewhere. And yeah. I love the fact that it's coming up with you from the conversation you've got with the girls. And I would love to you for, um, for you to talk about it a bit, uh, for later. Um, because I realized too, as well, the more people feel despair and difficulties and hardships, which is normal, is part of life and our journey here for another time. We'll talk about that. Um, the more they will have to take and make this effort, right. For rest, yeah. for relaxation, for reconnecting, um, so please, I would love to hear a bit more about like, what did you get from your conversations? You've been, you told me before a call that you got some call, like some discussion with some women mm -hmm. and that, yeah. that brought up much more because of what they were living. So I, I really believe that would be pertinent to be, you know, to dive in deeper about it. You know? Yeah. But what I got from the conversations with the women that I, I spoke to, and most of them are, um, have children and, and work and many projects around them, is the realization that not doing not only is very wise and necessary, but there is a letting go of a guilt of not doing. Sitting down to breathe for five minutes is a, is a not doing category activity because everything is doing to do, even in the language that we use day to day. What are we going to do? What are we going to Everything is action, action, action. It's a lot of masculine. There's a lot of masculine energy, electrical energy in mm -hmm. women of our generation. And there is an imbalance. And the feminine, the more... Um, you know, resting, the more cyclical, the more not doing, the more creative understanding of the cycles of life 
part of us, the more passive, vulnerable, apparently, I'm quoting everything, because it's, it's all concepts, you know? Yeah. Um, it's like basically, like, everything is a perception. Uh, is, is very much, has been set aside for too long, and we haven't learned. We haven't learned how to be, how to be in balance, how to do and be in balance. And there's some cultures, I mean, mine at least, and some families in which we grew up, uh, that in which the doing is so valued, it's so uh, applauded, it's so natural, it's so normal that you sitting down for like 10 minutes and not doing anything, it's, 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 it's exactly it's like a scene, it's labeled like, yeah. immediately, and you're like, what's going on? Like, what uh, are you? It's like, it's it's bad. So this thing of a self-care and taking the time, it might be very popular in like the Western world and the new generation, but it, it goes, it's rooted for a long time uh, in, in many cultures. And even if we are the new generation, it's not easy to unplug without any guilt. It's not easy to, it's not sufficient to take those five minutes to actually reconnect. If you think about it, if you go in a spiral for so long, just doing your five minutes or your ten minutes, um, just one moment. Bonne Okay. <laughs> Bonne Bye. De rampe. I need you to give a, a big hug to a beautiful boy that's going to go to sleep. Oh. Yo. It's an I important couple of seconds. You I couldn't say, say no. <laughs> so, so sweet. Um it's not easy and this is this was the conversation and even if they know or even if we know we don't realize how fast we get taken away by the stress by the fear and how quickly we can feel inadequate for being the the princessy one or, or the weird one that needs the bubble or the one who takes the time is it too much time and and we look outside for like Sometimes for I, I don't support comparison. I, I think it's nonsense. Like everything is subjective. So if I were to compare, I always compare to how I how I feel, I guess. Like does this feel elevated? This is kind of how I use comparison, but comparing it to outer world routines and nothing compares to you and your essence. So I think it's it's it, it's an inner work. The self-care is an inner flow. There's some women who need more movement or different types of movement than others. There's, it, it depends on each one. But there's, mm -hmm. there's no woman that I've known, nor men actually, that doesn't need a quiet moment and a grounded, rooted moment. Or a cave moment, let's say. Or a silent bubble, whatever. It's just, it's not natural not to have these moments of oh uh, the last the last words are just can off. you hear me yeah now i can yeah disconnecting from the outer world and from technology yeah especially i love it yeah i love it so much i love what you said it's so beautiful the words are perfectly spoken um <laughs> I love it. And what would you say mm -hmm. that those women you've talked to recently came up to this conclusion, or maybe you brought this conclusion of saying, hey, you don't take enough time for yourself, enough self-care. Um, like, was it like a feeling of overwhelm, a feeling of being yeah. too tired? Of, you know, yeah. it's probably a lot of those things, right? Yeah. Like, those it's are the it's symptoms. a burnout. It's a, it's an exhaustion. It's a burnout. It's a, apparently, you know, it's, uh, it's an exhaustion. And it's a not understanding how usually it's I can't get to do everything that I I want to do, but the thought doesn't strike that actually it's just too much. You know, we always want to can I get more organized and flip it more and have more and more? <laughs> okay, oh can gosh. you do less? You know, can we try like less? We always go like more, more, more. Less is more people less is more it, it just it, you're just not going to have the kind of or the idea of productivity we're not products creativity i understand 
performance excellence flow. Productivity comes from product. I personally don't resonate with that. I, I guess that some do. So it's, it's somehow to, de to define for yourself. How do you want to live? How do you want to feel every second of your life? How do you want to feel? How do you want to live your life? And who said so? Like who decided your mm. routine? Who decided that uh, it's supposed to, you're, you're supposed to have this rhythm? Because at the, at the speed that our society is going, if, if you can feel it, it's going fast. And it's going to go faster and faster. I'm just going to charge the phone quickly. Uh, it's going to go faster and faster. And do, are we supposed to keep up or are we supposed to have new standards of balance? That's my question. And if so, what is your standard of balance? Because it will come with some saying yes to some things and saying no to some things. It can be web platforms. It can be meetings, um, projects. I don't know. Less is more, I find. I love it. What do you think I'm... about it? How does this resonate? Oh, is it, uh... it does so much. And I love it. Like, you, oh, it's perfect. Your words is coming out. And we'll talk about it later for other sessions. But like your work you've been doing, you've been doing that for over 15 years. So you can tell that you've, you've reached a point where you understand that it's become you and you know what's your balance and what's your priority of taking care of yourself before, like you say, splitting yourself for other people's expectations or the world expectation, right? Because at the end of the day, you cannot compare yourself and who put the standard up. And I love it so much. Um, it's so funny because if you would have met me a couple of years back, and that's why it relates to me so much, I'm, yeah, I'm known to be productive. Like for me, I, I've taught this way. I'm super fast. I'm learning fast. I'm acting fast. So for me, like you say, it was a lot of value of productivity, right? And then it's exactly what you said. Like every time I would feel overwhelmed, I would say, what am I doing wrong? What could I do so I can be better, faster, right. stronger, right? Yeah. It's, it's exactly doing. what the freak you told me. And it's funny, we're going towards that, but we're going with the flow. Um, so I love it because you know what allowed me from a person, and I hope that other people who live the same situation as me, who is very like, targeted on the on, on focus on the objectives on results and really you know fast paced um it's my spirituality it's my spiritual awakening and breakthrough because like you said at some point it's not sustainable right all this overwhelm all this working hard all all this feeling of like what i'm doing is still not fucking enough you yeah. know so like yeah. all this feeling that keeps coming Never up enough. and even if you can deal with it right now for a period of time it comes back up you know what I mean? Yep. It's, it comes back up in your life because you haven't resolved it because what you think that you have done to put a patch on it, it's not the solution, right? Because you're not balanced, because you don't care enough for it, like you not care, but you, I mean, you don't take enough self-care for yourself. Um, so it, it's exactly, it's it's so beautiful because this, what, this is what through my spiritual awakening, I have opened my eyes to the importance of connecting, but back to my spirit back to their ultimate you know universe um and allowing me to be allow me to prioritize my time to rest to be focused on myself and uh, be connected and prioritizing and the way i felt was so good that for me it was like there's no way i'm going back to this storm you know like you don't know that you're in the storm when you are in it no right? and then don't. once you get out of it <laughs> I was a mess before, was I know? in that yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's beautiful because I'm so happy we talk about it because um we all won right and we'll talk about it another time there's so many things you can talk about but yes. we're all united right so as I talk with other people as well during my calls during you know when I mentor people whatever I hear them say stuff that I lived or my my brother lived or that my neighbor lived or you know we all live what everybody's living so it's like all relatable what you're saying, whether it's for a woman, whether it's, it's for a man. Um, so um, I love that uh, you brought that up seriously. And at the end of the day, what I want to finish with what you just said is that our body is well done. You know, nature created yes. such in a good way that if you are feeling overwhelmed, not good, overstressed, 
you know, not feeling enough, it's because something is wrong, girl, or boy, um, yeah. or man. <laughs> it's something, something's wrong. So, like, it's necessary. Maybe you have to try something different, right? You can't expect to keep patching it up, working harder, sleeping less, making it happen, and expect it to be different. If that didn't work out in the past, it's time to try something better. It's, t- it's time to change and be care- caring about your own body uh, and your soul, you know? And then because you can't expect to have different results if you do something that you think is good, you know, follow your heart, follow what your body feels and listen to it. And I think that naturally by witnessing how your body feels and your brain and by taking those moments of, you know, calmness, meditation or prayer, whatever you feel good with it, you will find a way that fits for you. Because I like what you said, each person is made differently. And for me, uh, we, can, we can. I would love to talk to you about my my morning routine at the time, uh, but my morning routine is quite different of what it, that came up to me. You know, I've been reading for years uh, personal development, how to become a multimillionaire, how to become productive, and all the yeah. morning routine they would give you and that you would follow. <clears throat> it would just not work. It would just keep. I would. It was just like I keep like swimming against the waves you know like it was not working it was not staying those habits it was all the tricks i've tried it would not stick because it was not aligned with who i was it was not connecting with the type of person i am you know i um, love that so yeah that's yeah anyway i'm talking uh, I'm, I'm extrapolating um but uh, this is something that's been coming up a lot because uh there's no one to tell at the end of the day, right? There's no one to tell in everything. I will not talk about what's happening in the world, but there's no one to tell. Like when you go in the store and you buy, I remember I just went to a, a bazaar, you know, a, a market, and then there was uh, those uh, cute little, um, how you call that, skirts? Really cute, yeah. okay? Like full of colors. And it was one fits all, you know, because it's a uh-huh. so it adjusts, Yeah, you know, yeah. But it's not really one fits all at the end of the day because it adjusts to, what your weight is at the end of the day you know what i mean and that's right it it, it never works out because it has to fit you right yeah. we're all unique so um yeah i love i love that i love all, <laughs> everything that you shared I came and i've heard <laughs> the word natural and naturally at least three times it's so it's it's one of my favorite words natural and naturally So we use normal a lot. Is it normal? Is it not normal? I don't use normal. Normal is, uh, again, it, it's a standardized mental concept. Natural, however, can be observed in nature. It's an organic mm. contemplation of the process of what is perfectly designed, really, even if it seems imperfect. And nature has cycles. So a, a nature that always has sun, uh, we're missing the rain. Too much rain, we're missing the sun, the night and the day. Everything is in yin yang in nature. Everything is the electromagnetic field, the electricity, masculine, magnetism, feminine, electromagnetic together. The actual waves from our hearts are the electromagnetic field. So which one is better? There's no better. The comparison, again, it's, it's a very primitive way of thinking <laughs> to be limited only to, mm-hmm. unless you're doing ex- ex- spreadsheets on Excel, that's fine and you need the boxes and you need, there's a time for boxes and there's a time for lines. But when, when it comes to natural and complexity and living a deep and meaningful life, no, you have to get out of those boxes. And then look for the natural. So, you know, when I, I don't remember when, how many years ago I discovered this, uh, feel your inner body from Eckhart Tolle. Like he's just saying, feel your inner, feel your inner body. So it seems like abstract, but it seems abstract if you just listen and you think about it. Should I think about my inner, don't think about your inner body. (laughs) What is it to think about? So you go and you actually, he says, in the palms is very easy. Just go, go feel the energy moving in the palms of your hand. I, you know, it's, it seems so simple, but so few actually sit for like seconds or minutes with their inner body, with their inner energy. 
it, there is breath meditation, but feeling the life, liveliness and life force inside of your actual body, it's an experience that is crucial to you kind of placing your focus into the dimension that is also you. And it counter, it's the counterpart of so much focus on the outside, the outside world, the outside platforms, the outside friends, the outside everything. It's when, when in fact, the, in my experience, the richness of life, the best kind of experiences were actually from the inside. And even if we place our attention outside, it's still because we want to live in the inside that experience like if you ask you why every time you ask a why i love to go all the way with the why with any goal that anybody wants i want this because i want this because i want it why and it's not like i don't want to give you an annoying why person why that and why it's not a why that I, i'm not agreeing i really 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 want to know get me to your last why you know the last why right yes to be full to be happy to be loved Basically, to, to be who I really am. So, like, the, I start this morning, I start every morning to actually live it. To confirm every morning and every day that I don't need anything to actually know who I am and to live it. It's so accessible to me that it's instantaneous and so natural. All the rest is effort or play or, okay, let's just have fun and you know, play with different ways in which I can experience that. Mm -hmm. But make no mistake, I carry this all the time. And I'm conscious of it most of the time because I'm not Buddha, nor am I implying that I would be. And then there's no, so whenever the not enoughness comes, then it's this, you know, to just lay back and, oh, oh, I just remember, wait. <sighs> there's more than enough. I can relax. So it's not a, a rush or a hustle or a despair or, oh, my God, I, I didn't have that and I didn't have the other one. And I still, oh, I'm missing. When am I going to get it? Never. In this way, wh what? Get what? What do you need to get? To what? To do what? To be what? finally free and happy. Well, guess what? Yeah. Connect with the inner body. Breathe into it. Yeah. Realize Not that if you, if you stay still, your actual cells are moving inside your palm. Isn't that fascinating? Actual life is inside of you. And it's tickling. You know, it's like, it's tickling. It's this sentiment of liveliness that nothing can give you. No amount of love, likes and loves and whatever. Because the other ones are just thrills, you know, coming and going. This is permanent. Your heart space, all the time with you. It, every second that I'm speaking now, my heart is beating. I don't know if it's every second. I didn't calculate it, but it's fascinating. The miracle of life is, is inside of us. And I know, I mean, to be honest, I know I'm intense and passionate about the inner world. Okay. I recognize I have kind of a... Uh, Party pre, you know, like I, I'm overly <laughs> focused inside. Yeah. I understand. I'm not saying we should all be like this. Everybody's unique. But when we get curious about the inner and we stay with it to feel it and we stop thinking about it, it's, we discover things that nothing can teach us, not even the book. The book can point to it, but still, it's your inner experience. And this is what we're missing. And this is what these beautiful women around me are, are naming. I'm missing, what are they missing? Presence. Me in the presence of love and relaxation. I need to rest to get a breather and to recognize that I'm, I'm whole because I'm spending my time in doing to getting because there's not enough and because that uh, uh, <laughs> So I'm exhausted. So Amen, girl. Amen. Amen. Oh my gosh, I yeah. didn't want to interrupt your talks, but that was something amazing. 
Oh man, and it's oh wow, it's so beautiful. It's beautiful, and I want to stress out. The more you feel not connected, you're using your physical body, right? You're working, you're working, working, trying to make the standards meet. It's your physical, but you disconnect into your soul, right? We're soul in the body, and for you, like you keep saying, you seem you seem very fascinated and passionate about the soul side, the inside, the inside power that we hold all within ourselves. Um, it's exactly what it is, and we're disconnecting with that. And I'm so happy because I feel a rise, and we'll talk about it another time so many things to talk about, um, about the rise of energy and vibration that people are coming together because they're so disconnected that the soul is crying out right now. It's too much. It's too much to handle. Yeah. People are like, fuck that shit. I don't know what to do. That's what happened for me. I don't want to do anymore. I'm like, just, I, I'm <laughs> So we, we're going to finish up with that, but um, we have to say, I'm really seeing it all, you know, because it's too much for me to handle. And I feel like more and more women and people that we're talking with, because I'm talking with all types of people, all ye all age, all backgrounds, um, it's coming up like the same. Like you said, at the end of the day, mm. every soul, let's say soul, because we don't care about the body, wants to be loved, to feel worthy, to feel appreciated, mm. and to be happy. But truly, ha yeah. true happiness, right? And I yeah. love what you said about that you're making a meditation and every day you remind yourself that you are exactly like you're enough. You don't need yeah. anything else around you. No. And what yeah. you're doing today as a prayer is like, it's just enough. You like you fulfill the type of thing that you can yes. you seem to tell me, like you fulfill yeah. for the day and that everything you're, you're going to leave for this day or every gift you're going to receive is going to be like a, a plus to what it's you're already extra. happy to. It's an extra, yep. right? I, I love that. I, I, I love it so much. I'm so going to like try to take it and adapt it to my own um, meditation. Um, and I want to stress out before we go. Um, and maybe we'll, we don't have time now, but we'll talk about it. But perhaps the reason why some people don't take this time, right? If Even if they know they have to, to take the time and take the break and connect and touch their palms or simply witness their body taking inhaling uh, air exhaling air and i'm myself working on that um it's i think it's a it's a it's a notion of fear too because we're being so yeah. indoctrined to be going on 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 non-stop non-stop productivity yeah. waking up let's do it let's do it that sitting down and just be it's kind of scary like how do we yes. do that what kind it's of scary stuff for the mind come up? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. like, I'm, I just want to finish up like that. Like, if you have one last, you know, uh, comment or suggestions for those people who probably don't understand it or don't even know they have a fear for that, but just don't know how to start and take a break for themselves because it's so important. I would say start small, get curious, do it playfully. Don't take your, yourself too seriously. That's always like mind and ego. No need. Go back to the roots. You know, the inner child. Just, uh, just, just try it out. Follow the breath. And definitely helps to use palms on the body because it brings your attention. It activates. Like the body, mind connected. Body understands it. So mind understands it. Oh, we're bringing our attention into heart space. Of course, my favorite space to connect with my palm is the heart space. Love, love, love uh, Harmonizing Heart and Brain by Greg Braden on YouTube. He leads us through it. Six minutes, he explains the science and the ancestral practice of harmonizing heart and brain. So placing a palm on the space of your heart, which is an ancestral practice. So very, very all throughout the world. And in the last uh, six minutes, he actually leads us into activating gratitude caring for loving for loving something gratitude you know as the spencer loves to say the state of endless reception we underestimate gratitude so i think the simplest way is five minutes reading place hand on your heart get grateful for everything anything i'm reading i'm alive it's the sunshine, there's a cloud, whatever, and say it, say it kind of in a, 
you let yourself express it. There is no way your state will not change. Be it in five minutes. Play with it. See if it's working. If it's working, do it again. Have fun with it. And that's how we start. That's how I started, if I remember. It was short, simple, sweet. And then, yeah, and make it your own. Ah, oh, amen again, girl, to that. It's amazing. Oh, my goodness. We had such a beautiful call. Girl, call, Marina. Um, it's perfect. I love what you just said. And this is it, guys. Um, for our first call today, we'll be joining every uh, Wednesday at 8 p.m. And it's really Can exciting I because I can't wait. I've, I'm so excited because this first call was perfect. I don't know what you think, uh, Miruna, but it was right on top. It was natural because I don't know natural. about perfection. I, I do believe that the divine perfection <laughs> yeah, exists like yeah. <laughs> in this body because I'm, I'm a surviving, I'm a recovering perfectionist. So, oh. but in the way I understand the way you say it, it was perfect because it was loving. It was sincere and caring in that way. For, for me, my experience was perfect. And I surely hope that what we shared was touching somebody, someone's heart. Um, and for next week, it will be Tuesday exceptionally at 8 p.m. Yes, I'm so Just sorry. for next week. I just yes. clicked my job. I'm like, ah, yes. I have something next. But in general, just, we said yes. for Wednesdays, 8 p.m. I cannot wait to share more. There's so many other subjects. Oh, but I'm uh, so excited. Yeah. I so thank you girl. for taking so your much. time with me of tonight. Course, Mirna. I've learned so much. I can't wait. I can't wait to practice what you just said as a as a as a recommendation. It's really exciting, and um, I'm thank you too as well for your time, my dear. I'm so happy to have met your girl, and I'm so happy we're connecting like that. Like like one step at a time is so exciting, and we're helping each other. And like oh, the vibrational mm -hmm. energy is getting higher. Oh, I love it. Yeah. My heart has well. a big smile. So <laughs> thank you for the, from the bottom of my heart. Thank, thanks to everybody who's there. Gratitude and all the love and uh, all our prayers together for every heart on the face of the planet right now. May course, we get closer to love. Like it's it. really love is the simplest. All the rest is too complicated. There's no obstacles. So may we be so wise to take the time also and connect with each other heart to heart I and thank you, you i can't wait to speak more with you about whatever comes naturally and of whatever course. serves us all of course we're showing up girl we're showing up we're lighthouses you are one oh thank you so much marina to be with my life in my thank life you. and on that part i let you go and i wish you a really beautiful evening girl you too thank you so much Bye. i'll talk to you very soon <laughs>